Alrighty guys, so as you've seen in the uh, title, I've swapped to recurve. But let me tell you, I started setting it up at nine o'clock this morning, and what's the time now? 12 o'clock. Don't you love a three hour setup? God damn it, absolutely done me head in. Kill me. So, what I've done, let me tell you what I've done anyway. So, I've got my old um, compound back rods, and I threw my back rods on me. Why does it look so funny? We zoomed all the way out. There we go. Okay. So I've changed, put on the back bars, make it look a little bit more professional. I've got my old Doinker front rod that's broken. It can handle five ounces, so I can handle that. So that's all right. And I've thrown my old compound side on with a recurve scope. So that's what I've been doing, but God, it took me so long. I had to go buy new bolts for this. I had to get this set up oh my god it's just a nightmare to set up but now it's set up hopefully we'll be good to go hopefully it's not too dark at home with this new camera and uh, we'll get into it so i'm here at 18 meters gonna shoot some arrows finally after three hours let me tell you talk about frustration but we're all good to go now so now we can just shoot some arrows and not worry about it But what I thought I'd do too is take you through what I'm doing because I'm pretty much new to recurve. I used to shoot it about a year ago, a little bit, every say once, once every three months I'd shoot it or something. So let's get into it. I've got no sight sense. First time shooting at 18 with all this new setup and the new scope and everything. Make sure you get your merch at jimmyellis.com and um, that's about it. Let's get into it. All right, so back on the 18 meter line. Let's take his back so you can see a bit better. Give you the full picture. How's that looking? Looking good. All right, let's get into it. So I've got no sight settings, but it's going to be easy to adjust with the old Sherlock compound sight on the recurve. low majorly low loving this tell you what one thing i've noticed since this is the first time i've used my shorelock scope since i've uh, got the achieve and the clicks are so much nicer on the shorelock than they are on the achieve let that one go just a little bit low And I'm using no pin, I'm just using an open aperture. So I'm just using a big circle and when everything's even in the circle, I know I'm sliding in. Tell you what, it feels heavier than me compound, even though it's like half the weight. What have I got on the back? Six, eight. I've got 16 on the back. 
and four, five on the front. Might be a bit back heavy, but it's feeling okay. I don't know what happened then. You click, I don't think I made it all the way through the click. Don't know, the click sounded funny anyway. One thing I've noticed with the recurve, I get like a numb finger here. I don't know if you've ever got that, but I notice if I get it a little bit deeper in the knuckles, I don't get that numb finger anymore. Let's go in the last couple, so I must have had an, mustn't have a deep enough grip. But now that I'm sighted in, it doesn't look too bad. Let's go back and see what the grooves look like. There we are, four in the gold. Let's pull them out. We'll go back and see what the real grooves look like, because these were all sighted in ones, these low ones. All right, so let's go back. Let's see what the grooves look like now. Tell you what, I'm going to have to buy myself a new, new quiver. That's for sure. This one's still in my head. In. It's just a free spinner with a hook. It's not like, uh, just hooks onto your pants. It doesn't have the belt. She's full basic. All right, so let's shoot a group now and see what they look like. Definitely feels tanky now that I put the extra stabilizers on it and stuff. I'm using one of Big T's finger slings, big tinies. I think that hit my armband. Made a funny slapping noise. Oh, we've lost a... Didn't glue these ones on too good, that's for sure. Gotta relax a bit, I think. Just have a bit of fun shooting some arrows, shooting a bit of recurve. Maybe it feels heavy because you're constantly holding it up. You need like a little sit on your foot or something, maybe. Give your arm a bit of a break. I think that was on top of my gizzard button then. I don't know, that was a weird one, that one.
And for some reason today, my clicker feels a bit long. Alright, let's go check those ones. Well, the bow's holding up alright. Stabilizers are holding in there, nothing's falling to bits anyway. That's a bit of a dodgy group though. That's gonna take me a while. How's this one though? How's this one? This is the one that's on top of me, kiss a button. I get in at the wall. Oh, there's my group, sorry. It's just a fraction low. I think that was me more than the sights. Just the good shots were still in there. All right. Pin this bad boy back on. Oh, God. It's all happening. Need to get some good tent pegs, I think. Uh, but I'll be back on my range soon tomorrow or next day anyway. Just want to do a quick shoot in the backyard, try and get my hunger back a bit. You just notice I haven't shot for like, oh, how long's it been? Maybe two weeks. Or well, not really, I shot in that competition on the weekend, come third. But besides that, I haven't been shooting much. So I thought I'd just shoot a bit in the backyard, try and get a bit of the hunger back. A bit of the urge to shoot again. Because the compound was just doing my head in. And it's not long till the new bow now. The form X, only a couple of weeks away, I think. Now that it's the start of November. So they're getting shipped out mid-November, so it'll probably be like a two, three weeks. I'm looking probably the start of the, no, de blah, 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 blah. the start of December. I'll probably get it now that I'm thinking about it, because it'll take at least two weeks for them to ship to Australia. You'd think so anyway. That was a bad one. Funny, you just little mistake at um on a recurve and she's way out. I think I'm plucking them a bit or something. Those two went out to the left. Went out to the right. Well they don't normally go right when you pluck them though, do they? They're just grouping over the left now. If I can keep them all on the target, I'll be pretty happy, I reckon. That wasn't a good one, the click went a bit early. Let's go suss that one out. He's definitely a, a big group. 
Uh, there's only one off the target anyway. So there's the group there. They're all in there, but this one. If it wasn't for that one, it would have been all right. The goal is to keep them all on the target. And then I'll worry about keeping them all on the gold one so I can keep them all on the target. This uh, scope I got is pretty crazy. Might need a bit of adjusting. <clears throat> it's an adjustable aperture one. So I can adjust the size of the aperture. I'll show you this. I might make it a bit smaller. You see the size of my scope? There's a good one. So I can change the whole way. Get sunlight. There we go. They're cool or what? So I can just change it to make it the exact size of the gold. Then I can only see gold. I know I'm good to go. Okay, all set up. So now I can just see a little bit of red around the gold. See how that goes. Of course, I never used to use any weights on the stabilizers or anything. I could just hold the bow up all day, but now that's heavy, I need a little rest. Gotta let that bow arm have a little rest. My arm a little bit, I think. I'll just shorten my clicker a little bit. Which means I'm going to have to get down a couple. I felt that through the arm guard. God, lucky I had the arm guard on then. Need a little gap in between shots. I think I was pushing too hard with the front end, that's why I kept slapping the arm. There's a lot to recurve. It's all relative though. Compound's a bit more accurate, but you gotta shoot more accurate, don't you, to get good scores. Bad one. I pulled way through me click then. It's one thing getting used to your click because it's kind of like your back tension. You can't worry about your aim. You can't think, oh no, I'm in the center now, go. You just got to hold it in the center 
and I hope it's in the center when you hear that click. As if not, don't know where it's gonna go. Okay, let's look at this. I've kept them all on the target. Which means, if I was shooting a competition, I could get away with a three spot. Which is pretty cool for a recurve. Maybe I should go shoot a recurve competition, see how I go. It'll be interesting to see, I'll take it out to the range. Maybe tomorrow. Although tomorrow's the weekend. Might go, might go shoot a comp tomorrow maybe. See how we go. Some bug just flew up your nose. Ooh, that was in the gold. Really got to relax that bow end too. I think that was just outside the gold, so it's not too bad. Oh, just out, I held it up, it was a low one. I was low when I um, let go, done the yard. I tried to, kept it up a little bit. So I flicked that one up, I don't know what happened then. Got to be a bit more smooth, a bit more relaxed. I shouldn't have let go of that one. Went through me click way too early. Let go way too late. This took too long to get through me click. Like me clicks changed or something. The old recurve, you gotta blame everything. It's just me, mate. Mate. I was feeling like it was <clears throat> my click got longer and didn't, but it felt like it did. Maybe I'm crying. I might be too like Expand a bit more, expand a bit more. And I'm feeling the string on my chest. I must be too like that. I need to open up a bit more. That's what it is. I'm not opened up enough. I must be too, too close off to the target maybe. But we're all in there. Oh, and I have an X. Look at that, one X. Oh, just a 10, say. And then they're all on the target. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. Not too bad for me first go at recurve, I reckon. We'll 
first go in about two years. And then I only shot it about ten times. But it is fun, shooting a bit of recurve or something different. Look at the bow though, it definitely looks nice. With all the good kit on there. That was better. I was just too open to the target. We need to stand a bit squarer. Might be easy for me to sit it like this. That was a high one. Don't know what happened then. I thought that was good. But me string, me, it felt a bit different on my fingers. Maybe I was gripping it different. Try to throw me click. Lucky if I've still got my veins on there. I felt it start to drop in and I was like anticipated it. That's better. That was a good click that one. Tell you what, my bow arm's getting sore. It's getting heavy. As there's a hole for a string stop. I wonder how a string stop would go on a recurve. Let's grab yourself up, last arrow, let's make it a good one. Let's go check that out. Feels like it weighs a ton. It's like half the weight of my compound. But feels heaps heavier. We've got a few in the gold then. Ooh. Oh, here's this dodgy one that I um, pulled through the click, didn't shoot through the click. But besides that, look at that, three in the 10. Two eights and a seven. It's not too bad. If I do say so myself. One thing, I've never tuned this bow. I just bought it second hand and just shot it. A bit scared to tune it. So I have no idea with the recurve. All the clicker button and all that kind of crap. Not the clicker button, the burger, the burger button and the presser, pressure button, that's what it is. Is that what it is? Pressure thing. Alright. 
Ooh, that was in there. That's a bit of a shaky one. Just sit me a uh, bow on me thong. You see why the recurves always take such so much time, they gotta have a break. Dead said fill it in the front arms. I wasn't on target when the bow clicked then. When it clicked, I was way off. I was going to shoot enough. There's no point in shooting that. A little bit low. Let it go low though. Dipped out just in the click. Felt that, thought that was good. The high one, too much tension in the front end, I think. Caught the bow. Really makes massive difference with the um, recurve, I think, catching the bow and having a nice relaxed bow end. Well, that was a way off one. I don't know what happened then. Concentrating too on me bow end. <sighs> I have no idea where that one went. Starting to feel a bit more comfortable with it. My throw up and bow arms getting sore though, right on my forearm. Right here, yeah, I can't point at the camera. Uh, uh, one dodgy one. I don't know what one that one was. Got one out. But I've got four in the gold and three out. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice if I could get an all gold. Seven arrows in the gold would be nice. Don't know where all these arrows have gone. I swear I had 12, now I've only got eight. God only knows what's happened to them. Some left them somewhere. Don't know. I have to find them though, so I've got a few more arrows. All right, let's shoot a couple more in. See how we're feeling. So I don't overdo this bow arm. Feels like I'm wearing my forearm out holding it up. That's just a dodgy one. Something happened with me release then. I think I flicked it or punched it or something. That was a good shot, but it went high as well. Same spot.
Crazy, they're all grouping up high now. Must have changed me release pressure on my fingers or something. I had to I forced it through the click then I just went back. Just gotta keep pulling back and then when it goes through you just relax the fingers. Let the string slip off the fingers. What happened then? I flicked that one up way high. Starting to get tired. How's the recurves wearing me out? That was a bit of height. Keep forcing it through the click, ah, oh, too open. Well, it's a good group up the top there. It's not in the gold. Yeah, this for a little group? That's not a bad group. If that was all in the 10, it'd be a 10 size group. Except for this high one. It's not too bad. How long have we been going for? About 35 minutes. Let's shoot one more in. That will call it a day. Alrighty guys, last in, let's see how we go. I'm pretty happy the way I'm shooting though after my first go. That was a bad one, I could see the arrow going. I must have plucked that one, that's the term, plucking it. That was a good one. I suppose it's like the recurve, you want your hand behind your head, like the compound. Finish with the hand behind the head. Oh, my forearm. Forearm's dying. Two arrows to go. Oh, and this vein's starting to come off. You're kidding, God. Just don't want to stick to these veins. All right, these veins don't want to stick to these arrow wraps.
go check that out. Tell you what, bit of a forearm pump. Right here in me forearm, just feeling it. So I never get that with the compound. The compound mine's twice as much. Something interesting, something interesting. Oh, that's not too bad. Hanging around the gold then, we've got two in the ten, a nine, and two eights, and it's just out. All right. All right, guys. So that's me back, back in action after um, a week or so off. Hope you liked the video. If you like to see us back, you know what to do. Hit that little subscribe button, let me know in the comments what you think of me shooting me recurve now. Should I keep shooting the recurve? Should I go back to the compound? Let me know in the uh, descriptions. All right, guys. Make sure you um, get your Ellis Army merch, jimmyellis.com. If you need any archery supplies, archerysupplies.com. Archery supplies in South Australia, archery shop. .com.au. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.